Mr. Knaus, welcome. You're also working for the European Stability Initiative. Uh, first of all, since Turkey, uh, since the deal with Turkey was sealed March 20th, not a single migrant or immigrant or refugee has been sent back f by force to Turkey. Why not? Well, because uh, Turkey has not yet managed to convince the Greek Asylum Service uh, and human rights organizations that it is safe for uh, people to be returned. It would need to put in place uh, asylum case workers, translators, um, uh, facilities, legal aid. And they're all gone, as we have just seen in the report. Well, and also in Turkey. If uh, a Pakistani or Afghan is returned to Turkey, Turkey must guarantee that they get a quick and fair asylum procedure. And this hasn't, uh, hasn't yet happened. Now, you're the architect of this deal, one could say. What were your expectations? Well, one expectation was that this issue of making Turkey safe for these few thousand people to be returned from Greece would be top of the priority for the European Union. I mean, this is what the EU needs to demand from Turkey, uh, ask from Turkey, push Turkey. Uh, this should be the key conditions for visa liberalization. Because without Turkey being a safe third country, uh, the Greek islands will turn into the Australian solution where people are just detained indefinitely. Yeah, which is total misery, as we see in this uh, report. So what is the status of the deal? Well, the problem is this. There are those who think that uh, Australia is a fine solution. We've heard the Austrian foreign minister say that uh, the EU should look to Australia. But de refugees are definitely... What you're meaning is send people to an island Indefinite and just leave them there and do nothing. Indefinite detention on some islands as a deterrence. But in fact, what it would mean is that Greece as a whole becomes mm. that island, because we must not forget there are already another 60,000 people in total in Greece. We have no perspective. And this isn't a solution. It's not going to work for Greece. It's not going to work for refugees. It's not sustainable. It's not secure. It's very costly and it's a failure. So what we see, as you mentioned the word failure in this report, is that the deal is not working at all? Well, what we see is that the effort that is needed, which is to push Turkey to be safe and ensure that its own laws are implemented yeah. for those few thousand people, this effort is missing. And without this effort, without this focus, uh, the deal cannot work. And this was clear from the beginning, uh, and I'm surprised, people are surprised, because clearly UNHCR said already two days after the deal was reached, here are the following things that need to be done in Turkey. And today UNHCR is very worried that the deal might fail. Who's to blame for all of this? You have, have explained the situation of Turkey. What about Brussels, the European Union? Well, I, I do not understand why, not just Brussels, but also national politicians in the EU, why they do not keep saying this is the key condition. We have an incentive for Turkey. Turkey wants visa liberalization. But Turkey needs to do something that is vital for this deal to work. And that is to be a safe country. And I do not understand why this is not the top issue, where there is nobody appointed who pushes this, who argues for this for the last five months. Um, we've had the Council of Europe, special rapporteur, establish exactly what's wrong, what needs to happen in Turkey. We know what needs to be done. It, it can be done, but it, it, it is not being done. So to get this straight, you call the deal with Turkey and the EU, as we see it now, a failure? Mm, well, it saved lives and it has reduced the numbers of people coming. Uh, it could still work. But unless... Uh, we are talking about now. Is it a failure now? Well, uh, it will turn into a failure unless Turkey becomes a safe third country and unless it becomes possible to return people. And for now, and you nobody that, has been returned. Do you expect that to happen soon? Well, I, I think so much is at stake here. This is so important for the future of the Refugee Convention, for the future of stability of Greece, and for the future of the EU's ability to show we can control borders and uh, on a EU law on asylum, I still have the hope that some EU leaders will, will make this happen because it is doable. But the last five months do not give me right. much confidence. Hope is something different than faith. Well, sometimes if leaders and publics and media pose the right questions, and the question is, if 100,000 people come to Greece again and we have to host them in Greece, mm -hmm versus now ensuring that a few thousand people are treated decently in Turkey. What is better? What is cheaper? What is more secure and what is more humane? Right. I still hope that people come to the right conclusion, but they need to come to this conclusion fast. Otherwise, the EU-Turkey deal will turn automatically into the Australian solution 
and that would be a failure. And one last question. As we heard the refugees, they are almost saying we are rotting away here on this island. Are they right? Well, it's really shameful that the European Union, which knows the whole world looks at these conditions, has basically left Greece alone. I mean, this should have been an EU project. We should have made sure that people are treated decently. We should have made this a showpiece for Europe to say, this is how Europe deals yeah. with people. We send them back if we can, but we will treat them decently. Right. But it is not. It's not a showpiece. It is a failure. At the moment, it is certainly, uh, uh, not, it's certainly a shame for Europe. Gerald Knaus, thanks for coming to the studio. Thank you.